Hello and a very warm welcome to Sora Sir's classes. Today's tutorial will be on geology and geophysics. We will actually pick questions that are common to both geology and geophysics and try and to solve them. So let's get started with the tutorial. So the first question says in which of the following electromagnetic method is the rate of change of secondary field recorded? So let's see. So first is our very low frequency method now there will be only one answer to this particular question but since there are four methods mentioned i wish to you know tell you if not this what this particular method is used in measuring for so this particular method actually measures the angle between the primary and secondary fields this is the one first one next comes the time domain em method so it actually measures the rate of change of secondary field which is what is asked in the question so that means you know that b is the correct answer to this particular question however we are still left with two more so let us do it so next is magnetotelluric method and this particular method is actually measures the components of electric and magnetic field and the last one is the turam method this turam method actually is a phase measuring system we have uh, so we have learned about all the methods they are used in measuring what and we also have the option correct option for this particular question moving on to the next question so the next question reads as a vener array with 60 meter spacing between current electrodes is placed over an inhomogeneous ground okay now if the measured potential difference and current flow is su in subsurface are 10 and 5 respectively we need to comment on the apparent resistivity so first let us make the diagram so it becomes more helpful or more easy actually so So A A A. What this figure so shows? It shows the Wiener array configuration. Okay. Now, what has been provided to us? Things that has been provided are our delta V is equal to ten. And our I is equal to 5 and A is equal to 20. Okay. So, we actually have the apparent resistivity obtained for Wiener array configuration is given by this. So, you have 2 pi A into delta V by delta i you substitute all the values you have 2 into 3.14 into 20 into 10 by 5 this will be the units so you will have answer as 251.2 so this will be the answer to this particular question 
So I hope this short tutorial on geology and geophysics was helpful. If yes, then don't forget to hit the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Share our videos. And thank you so much for watching.